When the dust settles, the only thing living in this world will be metal. Sup, diggers? Same battlefields here. Today we are going to be reviewing Body Count Ice-T with fucking, what is it? Uh, Riley Gale from Power Trip. I've gone and checked out Power Trip for y'all. And I can report back that uh, they're fucking dirty. Anyway, I'm going to start off this new format, as you can see on the screen. That um, I've changed the format. It probably sucks at the moment. Keep in mind that this is a what, 70 maybe $80 microphone maybe cheaper it's from jb hi-fi it is not top notch i don't have one of those fucking bars that hangs on and you know it's just constantly sitting there like that i don't have that hell my that is my studio light and the only reason why i'm not using it at the moment is because outside is uh throwing some decent decent light on me already because it is overcast and fucking yeah anyway you don't want to hear about my cheapness you want to hear about body count uh yeah hey, what's up everybody you're not being robbed i'm just on quarantine like everybody else okay well firstly i didn't think i was being robbed i forgot to also just quickly give a bit of backstory riley gale upon my research i found out that the guy is a uh well singer for power trip which is dope but uh the singer for trapped uh t-r-a-p-t -T, they had a bit they had a song at one stage that was that sort of blew up a little bit can't remember what it was it's not that it was forgettable it's just one of those you know songs that you've heard on the soundtrack somewhere and you've enjoyed it um if you're a you know, if you were from that era, um, and uh, and basically trapped the singer has been on the internet. It's actually quite funny if you go and check it out. The um, I think it's a Twitter beef between trapped uh, vocalist, don't know what his name is, and Ice T. Uh, Ice T came out and said, uh, "Yeah, I don't want to hurt the guy, so I'm not going to get in a fight." But Riley Gale uh, apparently offered to do a charity boxing match, so. Good on you, Riley. Um, and I went and checked out his band. They are fucking awesome. Um, uh, throwback to 80s thrash. Sort of, well, 80s metal anyway. 80s, 90s metal. It's fucking awesome. I recommend checking him out if you get the chance. Um, but yeah, so we'll keep going. Let's uh, check out Body Count. Sitting back, dealing Point with this serious pandemic. You know, I've lost quite a few friends to this. And this is serious business. He's right. I mean, America's coming up to, what, 100,000 uh, people dead um, from COVID. Well, let's let's pump the brakes there a little bit. Uh, but, you know, 100,000 um, people with COVID who have died uh, is probably a better way to say it. But anyway, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. If you've got COVID, you die. It's pretty likely you've died from either complications from COVID or otherwise. I'll do a video later, but I'm not going to jump on this pandemic nonsense. But in America, you probably you probably do know people that have died because of the volume. Here, I've only known one person that had it and they recovered. But in the meantime, the band Body Count, you know, we just put out a new album, uh, Carnivore, and we can't even tour, you know? That sucks to all my musician mates and I've got a shitload of them. Um, yeah, it sucks that they can't tour. They, I, I had friends who had um, full Australian tours about to happen and they weren't able to do it. So shout out to uh, Ryan Miller from Black Reno. Um, yeah, it sucks that you weren't able to uh, get up here. Oh, also Doug, uh, much love, appreciate the, uh, the, the chili sauce so I got that let me know 
uh, where I can shoot through those dollars. Um, that, that's fucking awesome. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some of that on some of my smoked meats. We lost a bunch of tours overseas, festivals. I know people wanted to see us. We had to shut it down for your safety. You understand? So now I'm sitting home like, damn, what am I going to do? The new album out. Can't even do a video. So I thought, I said, I'm going to tell the homies to video on the iPhone. We'll just edit the shit together. Whoa, wait. Look, I love Ice-T. I, I love Ice-T. He's one of my... Uh, one, one of my first ever, um, you know, uh, hip hop fucking, uh, well, he was an introduction to me to hip hop for sure. Um, yeah, uh, his uh, OG and uh, fucking bitches to the, the beat. I had the tapes, man. It's fucking like cassettes, not just tapes. Uh, well, that's what a tape is. Anyway, um, so I love Ice T, but. Yeah, you're not you're not breaking any uh, modern things here by using your iPhone to create. <laughs> Actually, I won't give him shit. I'm using the most fucking basic ass. I'm using a free fucking program to record all this. So yeah, I've, I've just given shit to a legend for no reason. Sorry, Ice T. Much love. And see how it comes out. So I got it all, the homies. I said, hey, get your iPhones out, get your girls to video you, do whatever. I called my man Riley from Power Trip. I said, man, we need you on the vocals, all right? This is the song, Point the Finger, Body Count, and Power Trip, all right? This is an iPhone quarantine video for you motherfuckers. And hey, maybe after this is all over, we'll do a real video. Maybe not. That'll be dope. Thanks, Ice-T. He's always got that uh, that conscious. Uh, well, not a, not necessarily even conscious. It's like it's like I've got a story about the hood. Walk, walk it down the door. No questions asked. Lies made both on their feet. They open fire before you can speak. Wrong place, wrong time. This is what they mama said Dead now, no cries School boys, they never broke the law Anywhere, anytime They shoot first and ask questions last Could be yours, could be mine And then they point the finger at you Right, so, I mean, look It's, uh, sounds like they're even maybe talking about uh, people like me. Nah, it's not people like me. But um, it's just funny how they've got Riley Gale shooting guns at the screen. The rest of them are uh, playing their instruments. And then they point the finger at you. I wonder if um, if Riley Gale sort of attributes, because it, it, that's his era, like that. Well, that's Power Trip's seeming era. Is the is when Body Count was fucking coming up. You can get got your own home. It don't matter. You can get shot. They feel fear. They start squeezing that gag. They shoot the camera. Now you're flat on your back. Controversial opinion. I uh, actually think that uh, Riley's vocals go better than uh, than Ice T's vocals with this. Deal 
Okay, I was thinking about this, right? So, you know, and this actually came up because it's like, I, as a young fella, like really young, obviously had to deal with some pretty bad people in order to just get a little bit of green, right? So if you're having to deal with some really bad people, and when I'm talking about a little bit, like I have to get a little bit more than a little bit, but isn't it better, and this is, I mean, I'm, I'm waxing lyrically here, but isn't it better considering I could get alcohol fairly simply because, you know, I mean, this, this thing, this thing was pretty fucking luscious by the time I was like 15, to be honest. Like people were asking me to buy them the alcohol from the time I was 14, right? So if I was able to get alcohol on a uh, legal level, then isn't it sort of better that I get green at that, like, at, at that age? Anyway. people and kids got to get killed by these police man and then it's always the victim's fault some fucking bullshit right so look i don't know the dynamics over there uh, but you know the uh the statistics aren't in that favor but i will say there is definitely racist cops there's Definitely cunts of cops. A hundred percent there's cunts of cops. I have had to deal with a number of them. Cuntstable Lord, you know who you are. Uh, and there is a, um, yeah, a number of uh, pieces of shit out there. Doesn't matter who they are that are going to use weapons to fucking fuck shit up. You're in America. Um... I mean, it fucking sucks. Don't get me wrong. It fucking sucks. And yeah, uh, it's pretty obvious that that people need to be dealt with harshly if they are, particularly if they are doing something based off fucking skin colour. That's dumb as fuck. Anyway, let's get back to it. Bro, I fucking love this riff, by the way. completely fucking misconstrued that whole meaning so he's what they're saying is wrong place wrong time and then they point the finger at the person getting fucking whacked yeah that makes sense all right i'm on board with the ice tea and this is a uh, uh, thing so yeah this is a fucking long video uh, and I think that was just to introduce a whole heap of other shit. So, anyway, uh, I'm Sam Battlefield. Like, comment, subscribe! Much love. Peace.